The investigation and arrest this evening after an older couple was shot to death in their condo in Stewart. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. Investigators now releasing information regarding the suspect and the 911 call. Our Terry Parker is live with the latest on the person in custody. Terry? Right, and first I'm going to tell you about the victims. HOA President Ginger Wallace had just put up these Christmas decorations and neighbors tell us she was anticipating her family coming to visit for the holidays. Instead, they say her upstairs neighbor shot her and her 81 year old husband to death right here outside their shared mailboxes. It all started over an open laundry room door. What is going on? My husband just shot two people and I believe he killed them. According to the arrest affidavit, Hugh Hootman told detectives several days ago his downstairs neighbor, Henry Wallace, yelled at Hootman's wife for leaving the shared laundry room door open. And when he saw 81 year old Henry at the mailbox Saturday, Hootman told Henry he needed to apologize. The neighbor downstairs just the other day shouted at me and swore at me regarding the washer and dryer. Hootman told detectives when Wallace tried to push past him without apologizing, quote, I lost my temper and he pulled out his gun and shot him several times. When his wife, Ginger Wallace, ran outside yelling, he said he shot her twice. I heard her yell, oh no, no. And then she screamed and then she was silent. Oh my gosh. That'll stay with me all my days. Kathy Barker says she was outside and she heard Ginger Wallace scream as she opened the door and realized her husband had been shot. According to the affidavit, Hootman said when Henry Wallace tried to walk past him, Hootman pulled out the gun he carried in his pocket and shot him several times. When Ginger came out and began yelling, police say Hootman told them he shot her too. Next door neighbor Raymond Bowes heard the shots, opened the door to see a shocked mailman calling 911. She was curled up like a baby. And he was standing there and he was on the phone and asked me, he said, you calling the cops? He goes, yeah. Deputies say Hootman went upstairs to tell his wife, call the police. I just shot Henry and Ginger. The SWAT team arrived and took Hootman into custody. Detectives say he said, so sorry. I wish I could take it back. And on that emotional 911 call, you can hear Susan Hoopman telling police that her husband was remorseful, that he immediately unloaded his gun, left it outside with the ammunition, and then was sitting silently in his recliner in shock, she says, as she called police and told them to come get him. Live in Stewart, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.